Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I shall solve a problem. Uh, it is using both stack and queue. So what the problem is, is it is called interleave the first half of the queue with the second half. So if you listen, I mean, if you see the problem, you might not understand, but with the test case, you can understand. So we are given a queue which contains some integers. We have to do some rearrangement such that the arrangement becomes this. So what exactly happened over here? So basically if there, you know, so if we have a queue, suppose one, two, three, four, then first half of the queue, uh, first half, first half of the queue is what first half of the queue is one, two. And uh, similarly, if I have to say, what is the second half? So if I have to say, what is the second half? Second half is three and four. So now I have to arrange the elements like element from the first half, then element from the second half, element from the first half, element from the second half. I should arrange the elements like that. But the condition is that I can use only one stack to do this. Only one stack for extra space I can use. How do we solve this problem? See, if we were allowed to use two queues, so if we were allowed to use two queues, then the problem becomes very easy. So in the first queue, we would store half of the elements. So that would be one, two. In the second queue, we would store remaining, which would be three and four. And then because queue follows first in first out, we will just be popping out the elements from the queue and we'll get the answer, right? So basically we'll pop out one, then we'll pop out three. We'll pop out two, then we'll pop out four. So we'll pop out from one queue, then from the second queue, then from first queue, from second queue, like that. But this is with the two queues. So if we use two queues, the problem is very, very easy. But now we can't use two queues and we have to get the output like this and our input is this. So how do we solve the problem now? Using only one stack. So the method is, first step is insert half of the elements in the stack. First step is insert half of the elements in the stack. So the stack will contain elements in this order, right? Stack will contain elements in the order one, two. So two will be the topmost element and the queue will have elements in this order, three, four. Correct. Queue will have elements three, four. Stack will have elements one, two. Now, what are we supposed to do? So the, the first step was that. Now, second step is what? Now we will, uh, you know, we will enqueue the stack or I should say like we will uh, remove the elements from the stack and enqueue the queue, sorry. We will enqueue the queue. We'll put the elements back from the stack to the queue. So second step is we will enqueue now. We will enqueue. So what will happen is, see the queue is three, four. Now it will become two, one. Because from the stack, how is the stack? The stack elements are two, one. Two is top element because stack follows what? First in, last out manner or last in, first out. So the stack becomes this, sorry, Q becomes this. And now what are we supposed to do? Now the first half of the Q, now the first half of the Q, we will DQ and NQ. What does it mean? We will remove the first half elements from the Q, but we will put it back to the Q. So removing the front elements, putting it to the back. So third step is uh, DQ and NQ. 
so that will be the third step so dq and nq will be the third step so now what will happen see the stack is 3 4 2 1 first half so actually i should write over here dq and nq first half of the q so this was the stack this was the stack okay now this is the stack now what will happen is it will become 2 1 3 4 because i just moved this 3 backwards backwards in the sense i moved the 3 to the back side I didn't move it backwards. I moved it to the back of the queue. Four also, I moved it to the back. So this is how my queue is right now. What is next step? Next step is now I will push the elements. I'll push half of the elements to the stack again. Push half of the elements to the stack. So now the Q will become three, four. So the Q condition will be three, four and stack will be what? One, sorry, two, one. One will be top element. So basically the half part of the Q now, I'm putting it to the stack. Okay. So see, now my stack and Q have the elements in required order. Why? If I remove the elements from the stack and the queue, so first I will remove from stack, then queue alternatively. So if I remove from stack first, it will be one. Then I remove from queue, it will be three. See, from stack, we have to remove last element first. And from queue, we have to remove first element. Then I will remove from stack two. Then it will be four. See, I got the order. So this is a complete circus problem only because you have to keep doing insertion, deletion, insertion, deletion, insertion, deletion, that's all. So this method you should know if you are given a stack, okay? And actually, as I told, you can do it easily with two queues only. It is not a big deal. And uh, that's all. This problem does not uh, tell us anything else. Basically, it just focuses on the property of stack and queue. Last in, first out. First in, first out. That's all. So you can read the article on GFG. It already has uh, some more examples. And uh, code is there also. Code is there only. As I've told, you can code it as I have told also, just uh, stacks and queue. Already you know basics of stack and queue, right? Inserting pop in pop means deleting, insert means push, that's all. So basics you will, I think everybody will know. If you still have a doubt, you can just check this article. So that's all for this video. Take care, stay safe, keep learning, keep growing, and stay tuned. So bye.